Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from KY Bush on you, and it was uploaded by Black Flags Matter, and the latest video is when Jeff Gordon drove for Ford. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Jeff Gordon is all a right, NASCAR, more NASCAR icon. Drugs. When you think of him, you think of all of his success coming in the famous Chevy Rainbow 24. But while Rainbow. many fans always remember him what for the driving fuck? the Chevy, there was a time in his career where he actually drove something else. Oh, this quality is there. when Jeff Gordon drove for Ford. At just the age of five, he drove Jeff for Gordon Ford, began his racing career driving in quarter midgets and then progressed sure from you. there. His family moved to Indiana in the 1980s because it was perfectly there? legal for a teenager to drive in sprint cars. Uh, Safe teenage, to say the, the move fuck? paid off as he no, became you don't one of a the greatest driving USAC that. drivers in series history. Well, where's his After training winning wheels multiple then? USAC championships sure as well you. as marquee races in the series, How he was he? progress the IndyCar, but sadly, the opportunities weren't there. However, there were plenty of opportunities oh, man, for him to progress his professional video. career in NASCAR. My his Bush better. Series debut took in place driving for Hugh Connor T Racing in the number 67 Outback Pontiac. At just Show the you. age of 18, he qualified 18, on the front okay. row, but I thought you meant like he was 15 DNF. driving and shit. Lucky for him, he showed enough been more promise and up. skill to wow both car owners and manufacturers. One of those being both Bill Davis and Bill Ford Davis. Motor Company. For 1991, Jeff Gordon would be competing for the Bush Series Rookie of the Year award with Bill Davis Racing driving the Rookie number one of Ford the year sponsored drugs. by Carolina Ford dealers. This was going to be a Dan development Pino. plan for him and the team to eventually move up to the Winston Cup Series. But the first season wouldn't be without its growing pains. After well, failing to qualify for the first season opener at Daytona, where? he would make all the starts the rest of the way, but his first few weren't looking too good. Uh, coming around oh, here we go. Back in turn four is going to involve Jeff Gordon, the youngest driver. There's Jeff Shoot, right how, there. He's already Swapping fucking up. The how the fuck? He and he hit that? Why did he just have that there? You see Jeff there sideways. Somebody Holy the shit. Head, I think that was Pete Grissom. Check that, Joe Nimitz. Joe Nimitz. Damn. Ward Burton on the high side. Got this looks like something yeah, back in the like Bobby Labonte late 70s. Oh, that when he dove down. Oh, and we have got a spin. It is Jeff Gordon. And the number one Ford has spun out. Everything's low and soft. Jeff Gordon has spun out. Everything looks all right. A little damage well, to the right uh, front corner of the car. I can barely see. Now Dolly that's the Jeff Gordon shit. car which triggered all the mayhem sliding into that as Ed Barrier. It just Jeff takes one car to fuck Burgess, up and it can Cecil just Unicars. mess everybody up. We also see damage on the Tommy Houston machine and also Ward Damn. Burton. So that is six cars involved in our first caution six of the cars. event. Six cars. This is our speed camera in turn four. And there they're not the driving Jeff very Gordon. fast and they're fucking... Oh, you got slow motion here. Bro. Dale Jarrett and Gordon involved in that place. Jeff Gordon goes flying up the racetrack. Into Which one's the Jeff Gordon? Oh, that one. number two. Trouble for the 19 year old sensation brings out 19 year old damn. Time on lap Thought he was 18. His first seven starts of the season saw him as low as 22nd in the points with only one top 10. Slowly but surely, things began JF to turn Gordon. around performance wise. That knocks way too near, close to his mouth. A solid so it looks like Space will try to shove it down his throat. Second his first career Bush Series Top 5. Throughout the rest of the season, it You're was wild. very up and down. For a couple of races, he would finish either in the Top 10 or the Top 5, but then follow those up with a few more DNFs. But his inconsistent performances didn't matter. You have to remember, in this era, for an 18 or a 19 year old kid to get a Bush Series ride was extremely rare they as he was racing bush. amongst a lot of veterans. The Both fuck? Ford and Bill Davis were thrilled as they had a potential superstar on their hands. His 1991 I'm a rookie superstar. season stats I'm a man. I'm a man. Wins, five top fives, what 10 top tens, there? an average finish of 15. I hope I get paid more than just some folks pay them. Most importantly, Jeff Gordon walked away with the 1991 Bush Series Rookie of the Year, which Rookie to him was like year. winning the championship. That was like a championship in itself, you know. I mean, uh, we had a tough battle. Uh, uh, David Green and myself, we, I tell you, we, we had some, some hard-fought okay. battles, and 
he was running good. We're both in the lead we there. We were running good, or he was having bad luck, and we were having bad luck. Oh, so never mind. It was a, it was a, a, a championship and, uh, uh, title in itself. Other this teams place were actually taking notice sucks. of Jeff Gordon's talents and, and were trying to approach him. One of those being Kale Yarbrough in the Cup Series. After this Gordon Cup drove in his car drove. in Cup Series testing for a day or two, Kale Yarbrough offered him his ride. However, after deliberating with his family, Gordon decided it would be best to stay in the Bush Series for another season. The, the one-off race series, he was supposed man. to run for the team in 1991 instead went to Chuck Baum. Chuck, given that Chuck here we go. After it was Hey, yeah, it feels good. He could have handled yeah. okay, never mind. He could have stepped into that car Are you old and, and, and probably handled it real well. But there was not a need for that. Uh, he's I got am, plenty of time. I'll have to he go was, back in uh, time and use my camera to record this. They had to pay now. me, though. And his career sure. has been structured and... There's no need for you to get in a hurry. 1992 no you was to going to be a yet. whole lot different. The first change being the sponsor, with Baby Ruth the candy hopping aboard. Baby Ruth. The next change Did you know that looks like a turd? Chiefs. His future Cup Series I remember some people on a movie Everham, thought that was a was turd in the swimming pool. Crew chief in his Bush Series debut I forgot what movie that was. Would be his full-time crew chief moving forward. The duo got off to a hot start for the 1992 season, winning the poll in three of the first four What's races. Say? But without a doubt, the biggest accomplishment that took place during this time span would be Jeff Gordon scoring his first career Bush Series win. Hell yeah, Brady and he gets some money too. Right. Jeff Gordon will take off. Gets they a can feed his family. The incident where you ran out of fuel and then caught the caution was the key moment. I thought our perfect day was coming to a quick end there. And there's trouble for the Baby leader Ruth. in turn I two. I just seen a call of Baby Ruth the long ago. Right away, they think he's ran out of gas. We got the break of our lifetime because when we did run out of fuel, someone blew a motor. Don't ever run out of fuel. We coasted around and all we had to do was go to the tail end. We didn't lose a lap. Jeff Gordon tried to work his way back up to the front. The guys on the radio kept saying was, be calm, be calm. We'll be get calm. there, don't worry. Don't do and drugs, we we just stay in off school. Slowly but surely, and we were right back up front again. And I guess enjoy the baby right roots. I prefer a Reese cup over that Jeff shit, but Gordon, baby roots all right. I that's almost choked up one time. I said, man, Snockers keep your fingers bar. Please let us get uh, this one. In only his motor third finger. fifth start, Jeff Gordon takes the checkered flag and wins the Atlanta 300. It seemed yeah. like everything was coming together at the right time. The driver, oh. sponsor, and team combo, everything so was clicking all together. After the first 10 here. races of the season, Jeff Gordon was as high as third in the standings with one win and a whopping four poles. Even though they had all found the much craved success they had hoped for when beginning this partnership, the end goal for Jeff Gordon was to get to the Cup Series. Despite get to that all Cup the success series, man, they had found your together dreams. over the past year and a half, a bombshell was about to take place that would change the course of NASCAR history forever. At the oh, end no. of the season, he will join Rick Hendrick's operation out of Charlotte, North Carolina in a third Hendrick Chevrolet Winston Cup team, a brand new team being built from the ground up specifically for Jeff Gordon and I got comments from both Jeff and from Carl he's got the Davis, baby who feels he's got, at least have a picture of the candy and, uh, bar at least put that felt like he was struck by lightning the, who, when who the, the car news man hit, give uh, it because style. Gordon made the decision uh, without consulting either Davis or Ford Motor Company or his present sponsors oh, all of these guys on this team you know there must be 15 guys and they've all sacrificed financially and emotionally and, and everything else because we had a dream and, and, and i have a dream it. it was going real well for us bill davis and myself have a uh re, we've gotten a, a very good relationship Grow some facial throughout hair, the, my the last two years or year and a half and the last thing i wanted to do was his name is baby Ruth. Ford. that's what i'm gonna call real sorry for lee morris and michael cranifus they put as much effort financial and, and emotional effort into Jeff Gordon's development as I did. Jeff admits right. that with every lap he runs, there comes there a goes. new learning experience. He learned that there controversy goes the can be a bigger drugs. story than winning. That's what happened earlier this year when Jeff announced that he'd be running in Winston Cup next year for Rick Hendricks and a Cup, Chevy, huh? not a Ford. A lot of people well. jumped the gun and said Jeff Gordon's been brought up by Ford Motor Company over several That's years. That's what they thought, huh? I think, first of all, they have done I can't a lot read for me in the shit. last year, year and a half, but that's as long as I've been involved with Ford and, and there weren't any uh, contracts or, you know, we had talked and 
And yes, I, you know, I, I wanted to stay in a Ford, and, and we were going to try to continue uh, working with What's Ford. This? But there were no definite decisions Something interrupt on you what while you Jeff was Gordon was going to be doing in 1993. Update. Gordon's side of the story is that he saw his Cup Series future at Bill Davis Sports. Racing in jeopardy without sufficient sponsorship. Davis, however, contends that sponsorship for Gordon was all wrapped up, but the deal fell through when Gordon bailed on him. He also oh, felt sure that you. Gordon had already made his decision to leave for Hendrick Motorsports by the time the meeting with the potential <laughs> sponsor had taken place. The way I see it, I'm pretty sure Gordon and his camp saw that the young driver needed to look out for his best interests. If that meant bailing on Bill Davis Racing what for a potential with? upstart team in the Cup Series at Hendrick Motorsports, it's harsh, but so be it. That's business. Did anybody win any candy bars at the end of the race? Like May. a bunch so of baby they still had most of the season left to go. Mario. Later that month, Gordon would score his second career win at Charlotte. But like unfortunately, as far as the championship was concerned, he was never a true title threat. It was a similar problem he had went well, through during his boy driving season. a race car. For every great roof. race he had, he followed that up with a few bad ones. But overall, it was a much there. better season performance-wise, and especially in qualifying. By the halfway point of the 1992 season, they scored an impressive six poles. Gordon's six last poles? win for both Bill Davis what and Ford fuck? Motor Company came in the fall at Charlotte. So coming down I never been to Charlotte, all things. We're sure that it's Jeff Gordon and Michael Waltrip. Now we're watching as they're pushing the uh, Parsons car back up, but I think they'll probably penalize yeah, yeah. that car for taking an assist on this. They're going really slow there. Lap. I like, I, if I had to choose a favorite car, it had to have a Swim Jim logo or something with my face on it. Yeah, because I'm Billy Bob and stuff. Maybe Ruth, man. What are they doing? Oh, I thought this fight was something. They're celebrating. Jeff Gordon's farewell 1992 season with Bill Davis and Ford. 1992, that was a long time ago. Wins, 10 top fives, 15 top 10. Hey, at least he got some wins, man. That's better than nothing. And had a Even one is good. 11 poles in total. They finished Probably fourth made a decent in the final amount of money. standings, and after the season was over, Jeff Gordon would leave for the greater pastures of Hendrick Motorsports in the Cup Series. He probably and made even as more money. the old saying goes, the rest is history. Eight hundred five starts, ninety-three wins, three hundred and twenty-five top Damn. fives, as well as four hundred and seventy-seven top tens. 81 poles and four Cup Series yeah, championships. Was that, what's his face? Without a doubt, one of the greatest and most iconic drivers ever to race. He's super NASCAR. happy there. After his retirement in 2015, he would be inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. NASCAR in 2019. Hall of Fame. During his racing career, he would have an ownership role himself, well, owning you. the famous 48 piloted by Jimmy Johnson, who would eventually Jimmy, become your a seven time Cup Series champion. Today, he is now the vice chairman over at Hendrick Motorsports. And it's safe well, to say there you his go. decision back in money. 1992 to all leave right, all that from Joe Davis Racing to Hendrick Motorsports was one of the best decisions in motorsports Yay. history. It's a decision that also leaves us with one of the greatest he he's what could have been in NASCAR history. When you look back at Jeff Gordon's iconic NASCAR career, you're obviously going to think of him in the famous 24. But never oh. forget how his NASCAR career had came to be when Jeff Gordon once yeah. drove for Ford. And yeah, that's once a big deal. again, that'll do it for another video. Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's this right, man. is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.